Hey guys and welcome back to a new tutorial about Principle on this channel. Principle released their version 2.0 just a few days ago and they introduced a great feature called Components. Now Components work somehow like symbols in Sketch. They are used for complex animations and transitions because if you have like a large number of artboards in Principle you get like many arrows pointing to if uh, to different artboards to different screens and it's really hard to handle all of them but now with components you are able to just create like symbols and like complex animations without having all of them in one file or at one place now i created this small little prototype right here only with the elements that we have in principle which are rectangles and normal text elements and i want to show you how components work okay so we have these bars right here and we have buttons right here that we want to trigger what we are going to do is to just select these two buttons at the bottom and our bars in our our layer panel and we can say click uh, we can cr uh, create components with a single click right here now you see they have a transparent background and we can simply say that we want to create a tab to the same artboard which will duplicate it but we would like to change the state of the button and of the bars this means clicking the artboard will initiate the transition but we would of course like to initiate the transition by clicking the future button so hold it down and now we have this like second artboard right in our component we can go back clicking this button but let me get this straight we have this opacity right here that we are going to turn on 100 percent and we just do a different way the different way around on the current button 39% but let's of course also change the bars that we have right here so green means that it's successful that it's every that everything is okay and red of course for this short bar means there is some danger or something like that so just change the height of these bars somehow so we have some different states right here maybe different products that will make more sales in the future or something like that and now let's just change the colors of all of these bars so I just make this one real quick right here of course you can just uh, use whatever you like to test it out like this and around like that this will do the job somehow I know you just get what I want to do we created this animation between uh, these bars but of course we would also just like to jump back clicking current go back to the first artboard now when we go back to parent we see that we are able to just click the animation and the, these colors of the bars are changing because we created the animation in the component you see this, uh, this new icon right here and we can simply jump into the component and change it again we could give the component a fill at the beginning of course it's just transparent and we want it to be transparent of course components are really 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 helpful when you have complex animations because for example if you also want to change like the nav bar or the header or something like that of your website and you have more animations on this single artboard you usually get many of these arrows that you can see right here here so you see we have a single animation that's really easy that's not really complex but we also and already have two arrows now imagine you have like 20 artboards you will get like maybe 20 or 40 of these arrows and it's it can be really hard and 
these new components, this new feature really enables us to create complex animations and transitions but keeping our files and our artboards clean and it's really helpful for complex projects. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. As I said, it's really simple and it, it's like really funny. You know components from symbols in Sketch. They work just like symbols in Sketch and I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you!